A bulky 70,000 pound piece of electrical equipment completes its slow journey. It's the solution in Osawatomie, Kansas, after four days of power outages. Fox Force Jacob Kittle said joins us live now from John Brown State Park. That's near the city's power station. It'll actually be five days of outages when it's all said and done. So, Jake, why have the repairs taken so long? Well, Kevin, city leaders do say that this was pretty much a worst case scenario with earlier fixes just leading to even bigger problems. But now there's a new hope again happening at this power station just behind me. You can still see some work being done right there. It'll be happening throughout the night. They have a new transformer brought in from Garden City, Missouri. They're hoping that that will solve the outages that they've been having out here. The installation will take 12 to 16 hours, according to the city's estimation, a hopeful final step following a requested state of emergency for expedited repairs. I think this is a really big undertaking, and so far I think they've really handled it well. The outages are spotty, but some 300 locations have been in the dark four days. That includes Osawatomie Court Apartments, which is senior living. Two friends of mine, Gloria and Flora, there's twins that live there, got stuck in the elevator. These renters have relocated to the First United Methodist Church, where shelter, food, and power are being offered to people affected. Jelaine Williams said this cot is her temporary home after getting stuck in a brand new electric recliner. Then I figured out how to lay it out, and I laid it out, and cat jumped on me and <laughs> laid out. And, yeah. and then the power went out. Yeah, and the power went out. And I kept waiting for it to come back on. <laughs> it didn't. And when we finally got the whole story put together, we realized that the fix wasn't going to be as simple as something smaller. In the meantime, the electric grid is fragile. Some spots still have power, but it's coming without the assist of the power plant substation where the repairs are happening. As for the estimation that the power will be back by midday tomorrow? I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> That's why life is, believe it when you see it. Now, crews are planning on working out here through the night, and the city is warning that there could even be an expansion of the current outages as they test that new transformer. However, Kevin, they're still in the installation process right now. It's all still very up in the air, so we will see. And that's a lot of work, and it took so much to get it there in the first place. Thank you, Jacob. Jacob Kittlestat, live in John Brown State Park.